AFTV on pretty poor game, but listen, we're through. Is that just the main thing we're through? Yeah, the most important thing is that we've, we've, we've qualified tonight. I mean, we've, we've given the chance to the likes of like Carl Jenkins and left back. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about the team. Like we, we're playing the likes of Carl Jenkins playing the likes of like giving chances to Smith Rowe, them sort of players there, Gondosi as well, giving him the experience. I mean, last season he was playing in the Division One of France and obviously this season he's playing Europa League football. Mm. It's a big experience to him and obviously, I mean, no one really impressed tonight. I mean, I didn't really see any players tonight that literally said wow to me. Mm. But I mean, Gundozi was probably our best player tonight, in my opinion. I mean, he was trying to create everything and stuff like that. Mm. But besides that, I mean, he was pretty poor. I mm. mean, it's really a shame what happened to um, Welbeck tonight. Hopefully it isn't as bad as what it looked on the, like obviously from the side, it looks really, really bad. Hopefully it's not as bad as what that was. Mm. I mean, but obviously it was really, I mean, like it's really bad. I mean, mm. Moving forward, I mean, going on to Wolves and stuff like that. We look. We, hopefully, we can get three points on, sat on the, Saturday. The thing is, uh, for that Wolves game, there's lots of players there. Obviously, rested. You know, Lacazette will be sat home with his feet up. Same with Özil, yeah. all those guys. So at least they'll be fresh for that game. And um, it's a, it's a really important game just for the international break. We need to get back to winning ways. Yes, you know, we haven't lost recently, but a lot of draws now. Three draws, three draws in a row. Obviously, mm. I mean that's the most. I mean, like at the end of the day, we haven't lost a game since obviously the two games at the start of the season. That's a lot of. A, that's a positive mm. in itself. I mean, a good thing for Lacazette. Obviously, he was rested tonight. He got into the French squad obviously today, mm. and that's obviously a good positive thing for him. I mean, he's a great. He's a great striker. It's a shame he didn't have get a chance to play tonight. I mean, if we had the likes of him tonight, we probably would have done as well. We probably might have scored a couple of goals tonight. I mean. Mm. He's been an integral part of the squad the last couple of games. I mean, he's saved us, especially against Liverpool. I mean, his work rate was absolutely amazing. I would have, I would have wished what we had the likes of Torreira tonight as well and stuff like that. But it's good to give a chance to the youngsters as well, give them a chance moving forward. I mean, the future looks bright. I mean, hopefully on Saturday, on on Sunday we can literally pull on and move on. I mean, one thing I would say is obviously Ramsey as well. This contract situation it looks to have affected him massively. I mean start of the season I mean I, I was lucky enough to go to the training ground at the start of the season and obviously watch the team play and he looked really hard I actually spoke to him as well and he said and what he said to me was obviously he's really looking forward to the start of the season and obviously I think the contract situation has really affected him and I think that's a massive that's a massive blow to him obviously what's happened with Arsenal I, I don't know what's happened I, I don't I don't think he's worth Come what on, Ozil's no. worth I mean obviously as a brand Ozil's worth more uh, Ozil by himself obviously puts the £350,000 a week on the table, I mean, as a brand to him. But I mean, moving forward, I think Ramsey needs to perform more. To okay. Games like games like this tonight, I mean, Robbie, he needs to perform and he was really dull. He was probably one of our worst players tonight. Moving forward, I think we don't, we don't need the likes of him. If we've got the likes of Torreira and Xhaka, Combining that midfield, we look really strong in combat and, and compact in that midfield, especially against Liverpool. Tonight, it was his chance to show what he can bring to the table, and he really did not perform. So, moving forward, I think he, these are the chances he needs to sort of impact games like this, fix up, but he didn't. So, yeah.